and we'll never run and we will fight fight till we won we will bite we will smite all through the night we'll never sleep never rest put the faith to the test the self-obsessed self-confessed self-professed divinity nobility your god is a fraud so stop Capriciously, we're tired of assault and the bigotry. You seem so full of wit and chivalry, but when we knock at your door, you'll break. We're done. We have fire in our veins, and we will break these chains. We're done. We won't be ripped apart. You will be burned and battle scarred. Propaganda after years is finally resolution. It's time to start the revolution. We're done. Never rest. Put the faith to the test, the self-obsessed. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Rapid Riders, our long form campaign here on uh, Fumble Folks. I am your dungeon master Sam. Um and we are in a an interesting spot here underneath the mines of Burrowfurf um, with the Rapid Riders, but I will let them introduce themselves to you in short order and in no order uh, in particular. Oh, same order we always are. Why not? Um, Bree. Hi, I'm Bree and I play Diana. I've updated her little Hero Forge. Yay, Diana is now ready for war, I guess. That is with her book. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Diana is a sun elf, a uh, bard of eloquence slash uh, divination wizard. Because I had to change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Cool. <laughs> cool. And do we have Ben? Uh, hi, I'm Ben. I play Zeke Bloomdales, the half gnome, half dwarf, half monk, half warlock. Uh, apparently now. The general. At ease, soldiers. 100% doing a Boy Scout salute there. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is Aria. Through and through. <laughs> I didn't decide. <laughs> Doran. Hi. I am Doran. I play Halle, everyone's favorite eight foot tall half giant. He is a fighter. A war barbarian, a warrior, Diana's ex, and confused and conflicted about the th throwing people those lives away in war, and is very worried about it, and wants to do everything he can to prevent as many lives lost as possible. Very good, as you should be, <laughs> Sarah. No, oh, sorry, Seb. I do apologise. Uh, so hi, I'm Seb. Um, I, I'm play taxes. The human of the group was once the only rogue of the group, but now is the rogue slash way of the scribes monk. Of the group. <laughs> Which is helpful. <Yep. laughs> yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, it's a Phil. Hi, I'm a Phil, um, and I'm playing Dunstan Dewey Fairfoot. He's a little part halfling, part Dew elf. Uh, all. All ranger-ish, also a little bit of... No, he's a scout. He's a scout. You know he's a scout. That's what he is. He's just small and wholesome and usually has a flock of birds uh, to assist him. Um, but here, where we are deep in the, the mines underground, um, it's, it's things are changing for him and he's getting some little batty friends uh, for some reason. Magic, probably. <laughs> nice. 
Probably. Magic don't Probably exist. Yeah. <laughs> There's no <laughs> reason. Well, last session, our party had successfully put a stop to Siege's plan to awaken the beast underneath this mountain, but still had a small army of redbeards and hopeful redbeards in this cult of the beast that existed in this portion of the mine. They put on a performance like none other and convinced them through their words, song, and deeds that they should leave this strange godlike figure of Kila and instead join a real fight, your fight. You succeeded in a stellar uh, persuasion check <laughs> to actually completely make them forget their god, 44, um, and join your side. Um, and they are taking orders from you. They are now arranging themselves in ranks of 130 apace, shield walls fashioned from um, the previous sort of wooden um, foot. I don't know how best to describe it apart from just um, like wooden foot supports and like um, paneling along the ground, some like holstering of the actual like supports of a mine. Um, to make rudimentary shields. Sto small stones being used as missile weapons in the back, some of them lucky enough to have a sling. They are poorly outfitted. So they have picks um, that are in various working order as melee weapons, but they are organized, which counts for a lot. And there are a lot of them, which also counts for a lot. You pushed the army, for want of a better word. You pushed the army... Uh, south and west through the mine to a launching point that you had recently come from. It took you some time to do that as the rest of sort of a day of travel. Um, it is late now. Um, you have the opportunity to take a long rest, but you're also discussing the benefits of sending your sneakiest individuals forward on one of these mine carts that you know will launch and get there within an hour. Um, knowing that the rest of the army will have to march, and that will take two days in order to do. Any questions, any things that we know, but this is back to you in this dank, dark tower. Tower? Tunnel. Tunnel. Opposite oh, Sideways that. tower. <laughs> sideways <laughs> tower. <laughs> They're um, organized. Was I... Was I scouting, or was I staying with the rangers? I can't remember what... what what does do we um, want to do? Scout. Scout, as per the name. Yeah. Yeah. Would you be scouting as yourself or your birds? Bats. Or are they now? Bats. Bats. Um, bats. Yeah. 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 Of course. It, yeah. The Rule bats, twenty worked. Bats. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good news. Um, I can. I essentially. I can. I can. I can do. I can do both. To be honest. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Let's do it. What do we do? We want to do. What does do we want to um, do? But you, Derek you need... will try and say, I can cast invisibility on myself and one other person or two people. It will last an hour, which is the journey up there. So if I cast it on, I need to cast it on the journey for it to be effective when we arrive, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, um, and see, so I kind of have to go stealth ahead as well, yeah. No nope, taxes, even. Yeah, D yeah, go go that way makes 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 more sense. All right. What? <laughs> what did you say? Sorry, Phil, you are staying yeah, or you go? Yeah, ta yeah, taxes and Garrick. I'll, I'll stick with the um with the with the 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 sling brigade. <laughs> the sling brigade. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You could send your birds forward and keep an eye on taxes and, you know, and Garrick, just in case something goes wrong, and you can come yeah. back and tell us, or... Can yeah, that's control, pretty good. Can you control 102 rather than hundreds? Uh, yeah, I think I can. Hang on a sec, let's have a look. If I do that, how long does that last? Yeah. Um, if I'm yeah, basically, Sam. If I'm able to get, if I'm able to get, 
if I'm able to get access to bats, then mm. I, then I can use a spell called Beast Sense, which essentially is uh, warging with something that isn't one of the 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 the, the, the things that are my uh, my flock, basically. Um, yeah, I can see that, and I can see through its eyes, so I can do that uh, when um, I, when we yeah. get close, basically. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's up to you if you want to find a bat here to travel with taxes and um, with, with the scouting party, then I would say make um, a uh, be an animal handling check for every round. They're not too difficult to spot. It's getting one close enough that you can get it to cast a spell um, uh, <laughs> and grab it and give it to the scouting party to release when they get there so that you can have a aerial view. Uh, 21. 21. Yeah, easily done. Uh, you know where they're going to be hiding. You pick a cavern that's going to be lower. You are able to slowly make your way forward, gingerly take one uh, and can cast a spell uh, so that you can hand it to Taxes or Garrick. They will be able to hold it and then basically release when they get away from the cart so that you will still be able to look through its eyes in this aerial yeah. view. Yeah. yeah. Control is going to be difficult, um, but you will certainly have view of everything it sees in that cavern. I'm not sure if Beast Bond actually lets you control it there. Uh, it, it does not. For the duration of the spell, no. you can use your action to see through the beast's eyes and hear what it hears and continue to do so until you use your action to... But, you know, anywhere, anywhere in that cavern, a bat's eye view is going to be useful. Um, but I've also got animal... Fr <laughs> but basically, I've also got animal friendship uh, and speak with animals to, to, to combo, combo that up. So animal friendship is probably the best one to use that last 24 hours so i'll do that excellent cool so you have both control and you're able to look through its eyes excellent yes nice okay um anything else as the party are um sort of forming you know that the, the people who have um basically become your captains are coming back and forth they are forming their regiments and they are sort of after days of marching in a very quick fight here take control of this uh, launching station which really was not much effort at all um they are settling down assuming that there is not any further marching for you know the end of a long day of marching without any other orders they will begin to settle out down for the evening uh shouldn't we get these guys like off the tracks yeah, they're smart enough not to yeah. sit on the tracks. Yeah. I've, I've got them on there where they are. I just that is a, a formation on the uh, four yeah. of those uh, who might be listening in or obviously on the stream. It's uh, just on the roll twenty. There's just a a mock of um, how these things, how these units look in battle. And currently they are standing over the tracks, but they do not stand over the tracks at rest or camp on the tracks in case. A sixty mile an hour minecart comes to town. You want to see them? I'm putting it up I, I, it'd now. Like, yeah, it'd be Are like there... and stuff. That... This is hmm? how many we have. That is, uh, is each of us is a unit which you have ten, and there are four displayed there. So, whomever is the first lieutenant. To come up. I'm gonna allow our lovely DM to choose out of the list of names that he has. Greg. Hey. Uh, uh Greg. Mm. I need six. I've got dark vision. Most dwarves, gnomes, I, I believe. Someone who's. It's going to be rotation. Probably go through 18 through the night. I'm guessing you've got people down here that you believe in and you trust? Yeah, we have people watching the front and the sides. I can find similar people who are on watch. 
Not that they spotted you lot, but you should spot a clunking armoured Imperial. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all we really need. Good. I'll do it now, General. And they Good take that as a leave. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, set up a night's watch. For the first time in a while, you guys don't have to set up a watch. You have an army watching over you. We can sleep. Yay. Mm-hmm. What, what's the vibe like, considering like some of these some of these guys were bloodthirsty cannibals? Some of them are bloodthirsty cannibals. They seem to be a um, little bit tense. <laughs> um, <laughs> like everybody looking around them like, yeah, uh, like very much are uh, we the bad guys situation. Um, but very enthusiastic about a new direction. There's a lot of people here who were uh, inspired on a 44. They're, they're, they're determined to do something here, but they are not fighters by any means. They are going to be lucky if they can huck a rock from the front to the back of this line um, that has been created here. They are just working on being able to clear the, uh, what is it, a good 45 foot distance. It's a, a rock is a thrown weapon improvised. They're going to be a disadvantage to hit things in even the front line um, until they get some better weaponry. Um, but they are determined to do something about it and actually be part of this fight. Um, slings obviously will be able to get further without much of an issue um, but people who are just hucking rocks it's going to be not much use until lines are met then it will be very useful um, cool people uh, just Garrick and Taxes loading into a minecart ready to launch um Garrick says, I will turn us invisible when we get there, um, but waits before obviously somebody else needs to launch them. Um, free. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Bye. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I was going to ask when they're going. Are they going now? Or are, they, are they going like in the morning? Uh, Garrick looks to taxes and say, "Probably best to do it before we, no, while we still have chance for a rest." Yeah. Um, and then, the sooner we do it, the sooner we can catch up to you. I'm assuming you're going to march him on. I don't know if we'll be able to get a minecart back, so we'll probably meet you on the march if that makes sense. The sooner we can get the information, the easier it'd be in the long run. Try not to march on the tracks, just in case things come spiraling back. (laughs) Alright. Okay. I'm gonna grab Scar. Just, again, far more gently than has been. Just hand it over to one of the two of them. Uh, I guess it's taxes. Sam is is afraid of... (laughs) Of, of Scar. My, my, my terrifying isn't? bird, yeah. Uh, Who isn't? Gonna hand Scar over to you and just just let him go before the game. He'll stay out of sight. He's black as the goddamn night. Mm. That's, well, that was a long one. Ah, that was a long one. Mm. I need to I really do. Hello. Sorry. Hey, that? I'll, uh, I'll check in on you both every couple of hours. Right. Dark has a bat in one hand and takes Scar. Yeah, see, uh, this is this is Walter. Um, uh, I'm going to be... Hello, I am Walter. <laughs> <laughs> a Walberg. I was oh, turned Walberg's into a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Walberg's... Oh, he's very dead. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, mind. he's not. He's, guess... a, he's a mar- magic squirrel. He's very fine. I just assume Wahlberg, every time you have a long rest, he like, squirrels out, grabs some food, and comes back in. I You're assume... going to say what you like. <laughs> <laughs> um... That's my head cannon. <laughs> That's a dead squirrel. In that it's been dead for ages. It's like we were dead wondering why Dewey was smelling. 
so bad. Smell like birds. And that's something it. really game. <laughs> yeah, like it's quite like really sweet and gross. Like, yeah, what is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay then, cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, um I will like I will take I will like have have them both there. Uh and and be like, no, that's uh, uh if he's ha- he's holding the bat out. He's got a bat in one hand and scar in the other. Can he like put it somewhere else? I'm not wearing a shirt. Uh I don't <laughs> Pax is Garrick hands you scar in the bat. Ew. Okay. <laughs> uh, be a great adventure. <laughs> yeah. I'm never wearing a shirt. I'm just, I'm just gonna look at you and just go like, I did ask. I I made sure that you wanted to do this. Uh, There's a reason I gave you the fire dagger. <laughs> uh, when uh, it's just the three of us, I know he keeps saying things, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm supposed to be in charge. I'm trying to make sure that my spies don't die. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I I gonna be like, right, look, guys. You two are my favorite people in the whole world. So, can you not die? Okay. Um. And that's it, really. Um. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh. I'm gonna say this again, but please, can you not try and be a hero, each of you? Yeah. I will make sure he's not a hero either. Yeah. And you make sure that she's not a hero. I promise. Okay. Um, I'd like to give Taxes a really awkward hug. No, wait, nope, she has the bat. Yeah. <laughs> I will touch you from afar. Okay, no. No, you know what? I will, I will hug her. You said she's gonna look sad. <laughs> I know. Just away from the bat. I and then, uh. Away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. And then. And then. And then her Garrick. Uh, and kiss him. Kiss him on the cheek as well. And I want to whisper something in his ear. Okay. Do you want to message it to yes. me? Or do you <laughs> go for it. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um, secrets. Yeah, uh, uh, ho- hoping that um, taxes can't hear. Taxes really wants to fucking hear. <laughs> it, it it just looks like it, it's it's just a kiss. That's what it looks like. How um, how fervently is taxes paying attention to the kiss? Is the question to notice this? Creepy. Yeah. I would like say that. probably not intently. <laughs> yeah. no, not intently. No. It's like a side glance and then look away. Ah, uh, I don't know where you are, Sam. <laughs> there I'm you here. are. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not though. Um. Yeah, I kind of need to know what what yeah, this is yeah, to yeah, yeah, address. Yeah. No, it's fine. I'm not rushing you. I'm just sort of like thinking. What else can I do? The bat just uh, hugs um, you <laughs> from behind. Scar is just stares directly towards um, Zeke, and in your mind you hear General. Hmm? You're gonna have fun with that, aren't you? Even more. Don't die. Keep them alive. Um, I don't think he he might not have known about that. Uh, his Eyes immediately shoot wide. Um, 
nods. We won't be heroes. Oh yeah, okay. Good dude. There is a lever in front of you. <laughs> You ready? Well. <laughs> yeah, hold on. He takes the, yeah, he takes the, the, the bat and scar back. Yeah. Spell. <laughs> Wait, what's the... Uh, Walter. Walter. Walter and scar. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Love you. Bye. <laughs> um, they launch imme nearly immediately hitting 60 miles an hour. Um, oh, as Gary with no handholds. That bat is no more. Just keep a grip. And there is a rush of wind through the tunnel. Um, you are traveling down this tunnel, Taxis, for nearly an hour. Mm -hmm. As um, you're sort of timing it, it's got to be close. Um, Garrick sort of like tries to like push, like ducks low to not get hit by the wind. He says, you take these two. I'm just going to cast invisibility on us now. We're Maybe 10 minutes out, we should still have 50 minutes of it left. Okay. You all go, uh, you two go invisible. There are a floating um, bird and bat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I probably would, like, as soon as this cart starts slowing down, shake the bat off so it can fucking fly. Uh, there is a kukum kukum up they well... go into the air. Uh, Dewey and um, Zeke will both realize at this point. Um, you can both see through their eyes. You can see yeah. the cavern. Um, the thing that you two and Garrick and Taxes all get immediately is this is a lot more populated than it used to be. Um, there are um, steel wall here, more than there were. There are also people in the normal Colovian Levy, not Colovian Levy, sorry, Colovian Legionnaire um, garb. Here, the uh, half plate they commonly wear. Um, they are walking around. Um, you watch as this um, cart trundles to a stop at the launching point. Um, uh, can you make a stealth check with advantage for me, please? Um, and Garrick is going to do the same because you're invisible. Also, anything that That's they're wearing, Garrick. also that they, everything that they're wearing goes invisible and carrying yes. at the time. So the yes, bat. Um, anything. Bats are creatures. Bat is a thing. It is also a creature. <laughs> <laughs> As is Scar. Uh, <laughs> all, all I Scar can... is very... That is not a creature. <laughs> I appreciate like... the hustle. Um... <laughs> when, they, when they go invisible, I feel like there's like a Flintstones cartoon-esque like, close-up of the bat being like, oh, I thought my eyesight was bad, but this is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Garrick is on a solid 33 for oh, that that's stealth that's check. That's a 15. 15. Okay. <laughs> they do have disadvantage to spot you because you are invisible, but there are people watching this. Why do we okay. keep giving the rogue the ability to leave when the rogue can't rogue? Look, I, I am more <laughs> monk than know. rogue. <laughs> I yeah, know, your stealth isn't like even the highest. Like, <laughs> No, it's not. Why did we I just that? gather information. This is the old... Why are we putting Garrick? <laughs> uh, you jump over to the side. Um, Push you, up the like, average. <laughs> you, like, on 15, you Please. tap the side slightly, and uh, not enough to make a loud noise, um, but the uh, guard looking over, steel wall guard, looks over. It's, a... it's an empty cart. They just, uh, they look around it. You see, as you're like hi hiding around the side, they are not looking in your direction. They don't seem to notice that. It's still weird that an empty cart is here. Um, it's... You. Go... Uh, pulls out a legionnaire, like somebody who's lesser ranked to them. Go and find the taskmaster. Let them know what's going on. Also, get that cat out. <laughs> oh, sorry, what's sir, a cat doing in the mine? Right <laughs> Oh no, oh no! Um, <laughs> Who let the cat? You see this oh, legionnaire the gives a Colovian salute uh, and begins walking off clearly towards the Taskmaster. You can see that there is, this place is a brim with not just steel wall. Um, there are more legionnaires here than you think there were in 
um, in Borough Firth a few days ago when you left. Yeah, I'll be sure to relay that to people as I'm wandering aimlessly into a wall like a computer game NPC that just doesn't... <laughs> Yeah. I will guide, turn him around and then he can just keep going in that direction. Ah, they said that they were guiding me. <laughs> um, I will, I'll see... hold. <laughs> uh, in the ground where you know Garrick is, actually, no, they can just whisper to you, they're close now. Um, they would say, uh, stick close, so we don't really have a signal, but to see we, each other when we're close, so we just have to rely on knowing we're going to stick together. Because if one of us goes off, we're not going to find each other until we both go back down that tunnel. Okay. I think we should follow the Legionnaire. It's going to say the going same to thing. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, you pick your way along, and I did a quick diagram at one point. The central cavern station, um, you are arriving from the east over here. Uh, you find yourself at launching point here. You begin to follow them towards this big central tent. Um, it was there previously as a sort of command post for Veloxa when she's present. Um, you see that she is there now. The sides are covered up, um, but she is standing in front of it. Uh, she is with an individual um, who is wearing some kind of lacquered armor. Um, it's not clear if it... It doesn't look like it's plate. It looks like it's um, leather, but there might well be something hidden underneath the way there's some bulk to it. Um, they have some books at their side. Um, and they look like they have um, a, a mean-looking blade. It's not like a, just a straight sword. Uh, it looks like there's a slight curve to it. Um, they are deep in conversation as the Legionnaire comes up um, and makes a report to the Taskmaster, um, who brushes hair, the long, bushy orange hair, out of her face um, and starts talking to the individual at her side. Uh, you can get in closer. You can see it gets a little more complex uh, in terms of staying out of people's way. It's a busy hive activity. This is going to take another stealth check. You still have advantage. Garrick is going to say, I, I think we need to get closer. I can read people's lips. So fucking see Oh, <laughs> damn. Okay. I had kind of prepared around this, but not... I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you see um, Veloxa turn to this individual uh, as uh, you get a bit of a more read after this conversation with the Legionnaire. Veloxa says, Look, that could mean anything, okay? Why, do we, why are we so convinced that they're in my mind? Uh, this individual leans forward and says, The Hierophant Imperium does not make mistakes. If she says the Rapid Riders are in this mine, the Rapid Riders are in this mine. She says, how can they... Look, we have brought your troops here. You're very welcome to continue to disrupt operations here. I had some kind of quartermaster. Don't know where they are now, but... And we are looking for them as well, because perhaps your rapid riders have them here. Uh, this um, individual says, You are aware that most current reports point to rapid riders as responsible for the death of your brother. He says, I am well aware of the latest reports. She turns uh, and beckons him to follow as she walks into the tent. It is going to be difficult to get in there undetected, but you can see they are still wrapped in conversation. But you are not able to read lips through a tent. Why oh, are you going to tease Seb like that, Sam? Come on. It's a good tease. <laughs> information. Uh, Brie, you have a question in general. Yeah. Um, to avoid metagaming in any way, can I say that I'm going to s cast sending? Um, you would have your companions going... here. You would be able to see um, oh, they yeah, would not yeah. be able to see your companions, but they would be able to see um, 
Oh yeah, okay, then cool. this individual then. walking into a tent. They will be able to relay that information to you. Yeah, then I will, I will, I will, yeah. Okay, cool, no worries, good. Good. <laughs> good is it. So I will uh, see if Dewey, uh, are you, like, telling everybody, or? Uh, yes, yeah, I, I'd sort of say, like, they. Uh, I can see Broloxa, she's talking to someone, I'll describe as best I can what that would be. Well, actually, no, Ben would probably like Zeke would probably describe it because I don't, I, I'm probably better for like the numbers of people because bats eyesight is, oh, yeah. is bad but but what? definitely better at like giving an estimate of numbers and things like that uh, what what do they look like did I did did we say? Um, the yeah, the com so... the new companion, uh, yeah, armored looks mostly leather, almost looks lacquered, um, almost a polished shine to it. Um, a wicked looking blade rather than a mm. sort of just a functional sword. There's almost a curve to it. Um, unclear at this distance if it's some kind of magical blade. Um, books at their side as well. Um, these are the most striking features about them. male human. Um, mid age, maybe just younger, thirties, forties. So can I make an argument that I've been in the Empire long enough that I that I know what I'm looking at? Uh you can give me a history check. Okay. Just because Ben knows does not mean Zeke knows. No. no. Zeke, no Zeke is a dumb Zeke Zeke is a dumb dumb. Can um, I also? Wow! He rolled, amazing. rolled it. Can I also do it if 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 it's like uh, you yes. describe what is I am on going it? to argue the DC is higher because you're getting this information secondhand rather than seeing the individual directly. Um, That's but fine. yes, there are also other things work in your favor, so DC kind of balances out. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it is. You could. Oh, um, that's not very good. Cool, I rolled a five. That's twelve. <laughs> well. Boo. Can I Some kind of... <laughs> you can't hear the conversation. Um, you two are unable to relay that. Um, because this is being lip read. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but... No. Something uh, perhaps slightly familiar about the description you're hearing, but you can't peg it exactly as to what you're trying to... What you, what you're seeing in your mind's eye? I um, also do it because I'm seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for DC. I uh, I, my bird isn't with you. Like you, you released it. So I'm gonna say for now, no. Um, <laughs> It, it doesn't make sense that you would particularly know who this kind of individual is. It, you can roll it. Can It'll be a very hard here? difficulty history check. You'd have to hit a 25. I, am, uh... I... But I will give you a third chance. 20 fucking 4. 24. <laughs> the taxes tingle is going crazy. <laughs> but you're just not sure. Ha. Uh, there's something definitely about... The sword looks weird. That's not what's drawing your attention. The books, again, weird. That armor, that's what's drawing your attention. You've seen something like that before. You think you've seen somebody wearing that, like, in and around the um, tax office, the sort of what serves as tax office and barracks in Benalicia. There's a specific kind of profession that wears that kind of armor, but you cannot, cannot bring it to mind. Hey Sam, would I know what it is? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fair. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we can do this all day. If you... <laughs> no, yeah, no, you know I'm what? Not yeah. from around here. Roll me a history yeah. check. No. Oh. <laughs> you roll a natural twenty. Does Walter on, know no. what it is? <laughs> If I ask a random dwarf, does he know what it is? Oh, ten. <laughs> ten from ten. me. Nah. I don't nah. know. <laughs> I've never stepped foot in a library. Shiny leather armor? Nah. 
Um, cool. Yeah. You have a choice in front of you. You can try and push deeper into, in, literally into the tent and follow on, which will be a stealth check. Or you can go with the information you have now. With the Gallic. What are they saying? The rapid riders, they know that we're down there. It. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna come about at some point. Um, they know that we might have involved the death of her brother, so she's probably gonna be extra nasty towards us. Who's her brother? I don't remember. <laughs> Hush, be even <death>. harsher. <laughs> Taxes would remember, though, right? <laughs> Taxes well, mean probably. You know, Sab remember no. <laughs> it was taxes the artificer. Might, taxes well, the oh, taxes, would, remember. The taxes <laughs> would remember the person they killed. They might not know the relation, like which oh, individuals. Yeah, of course, because that <laughs> happened with Diana and Dewey. Ah. Uh, yeah. um, okay. And that's why I said I don't know. It's not because I don't remember. <laughs> Lies. Lies. <laughs> Look at you, <laughs> fucking lying. Look at your face. <laughs> Listen, don't need no inside check. Don't need no inside check. I know. Check. <laughs> I know we said don't be heroes, but at the same time, literally five minutes. It's been an hour for them. Now, <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> I really want to find out what they say. It's, like it's not being a hero. We're not going and trying to kill blocks or all on our own. We're just trying to get a little more information. Here's your job. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you both if you get it back over here. Look, um... Do it. Just poke our heads in. Do it. <laughs> just poke our heads in. That's, we just need to... We just need to hear. Hey, you just need to see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um... I'll go left, you go right if we fuck up and only get one of us. What happened to us staying together? What's okay, it? let's both go right. <laughs> that way we're closer to the exit. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That you see them without saying another word. Um, you, well, you don't see them. Uh, you hear um, very light footprints in the sort of gravel dirt around this area. What you Advantage on your stealth check, still. In for a bit of information, you sent taxes to forward. He's got to fucking try. A 21. 21. Um, <laughs> there is... Uh, a guard here, they are actively looking. They have disadvantage because you guys are invisible. Cool. You wrap around to the right. The guard who is looking at the entrance is not even... does not hear the crunch of your shoes uh, on the floor. You are able to pick a small bit in order to very quickly roll underneath the canvas of the tent. Um, and you can both hear the conversation. Clearly, you've missed some of it um, in sort of the gap that's happened. Um, you see this, or you hear more accurately, but it's just sort of hidden amongst the stuff at the side of a tent. Um, uh, Biloxa says, Well, how long is it going to be? Um, and the other individual, this lacquered armored person, <coughs> it shouldn't be too long now. Itebi is maybe a day, maybe two away. Once she gets here, we will launch a full assault. <laughs> we will launch a full assault, and we will be able to march deeper into these mines. Full army, and the oath is fulfilled. Glory is brought to Osnan. Well done, everybody. Um... You see Broloxa uh, taps at a table and then throws something metal to the ground with a clang. It sounds like a candle holder kind of thing. But if there's any possibility that these people get away, and they were in this mine, they get away, because I had to wait for a Tebby to claim her oaf. I'm going to fucking burn you. This individual goes, <coughs> that is highly inadvisable. I am 
near the right hand of the High Orphaned Imperium, although they cannot officially name one. You... <laughs> you would be best served not doing that um taxes you recognize say that laugh Harlequin. it's uh the mask uh behind that mask was a behind that laugh was well, in front of that laugh was a mask uh, at the masquerade ball a mask of a harlequin to be precise Bye. they uh, continue to try and suppress uh clearly something they are trying to keep down <clears throat> <clears throat> it would not be a good idea. You would be declaring open war on the faith, open war on probably the rest of the empire. Why don't we continue to wait? A day, Tebby's forces will be here. There will be no retreat for them. We have forces enough. Even if they do come marching out of there, they will be cut down quickly. What do your scouts even say? Is there some... Uh, some dwarves with pickaxes. She says, I don't know. Why don't you ask your uh, benefactor to tell me? The Harlequin says, You know, it doesn't work like that. I receive messages through divine provenance from her. She can send those to me, but I can only reply to them. I have not granted that kind of clerical power. What I am is a good tracker. Now, if I can find that orange hair cut off in the middle of a forest, and if I can bring that to the High Orphan Imperium, they can find where your little rapid riders are from a little bit of hair. Do you think maybe, maybe, you should have some more faith in this plan working? For a lot, sir. Uh, it goes quiet. Again, it's difficult to see exactly what's going on here. Before she finally speaks up and says, If the Tebby is not here, I am going to get them on my own. And you can be ready for that or not. She has two days, and if she's not here, I'm marching my army in. The Harlequin. You can just see enough to see that they bow deeply in a very theatrical pose. This jingling blade at their side. I am humbled by your patience. Taskmaster. Hands luck and thing. Separate. Walking up the front, making their own ways away. Uh, we well, got... that's how they found you. What? Okay, we'll have to tie this guys. Okay. Um... Okay. Time to time to go. I think. Yeah. So I'm not gonna whisper because the guard is gonna tap him on the shoulders like a sign. We should get the fuck out. <laughs> you can't sign. You're being invisible. No, I'm saying tap him on the shoulder as a sign. Okay, yes. You should yeah. get a fuck out. <laughs> One last stealth check, please, as you are making your way out of Central Cave. It's not the best. 26, natural 20. 26. <laughs> yeah, easily. Um, people are trained to spot people they can see, not people uh, in a busy minecart station that they cannot see. Um, you make your way into the tunnel. It is a day of travelling you from one direction, the army from the other, before you're able to meet in the middle. Does anybody wish to do anything particularly in that time? Yes. So I would like to cast Sending um, when they are in a uh, safer place. Um, you can basically have um, Scar know that an hour has passed, the invisibility must be gone, they must be in and out, and trace them up and down and spot them at some point along the... Because Dewey can yeah. see them, right? Dewey's got I... um, a bat that is still hanging in the central cavern, unless they uh, wish... It's... Yeah, that, that spell would, would run out. Oh, right, okay, then. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying, like, 
to not meta game, I would like to have uh, cast sending like an like an hour and a half. Yes, yeah. After. By that time, hour and a half, they should be in and out, kind of thing. Right. Assuming everything went well. Yeah. I mean, we also have Scar in there, keeping an eye on things too. Yeah, yeah but Scar can't see invisible things. Oh no, it's true. Okay. They, Scar would know everything's not kicked off and they've not captured some prisoners. Mm. How long does message last? Or sending? Mm -hmm. Sending? Sending, sorry. How long does sending last? Do you mean well, like, like uh, lines? Lines. Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't say. You, you, but like you can send the message and then Texas can reply in her head. But she doesn't have to reply immediately. Um, so how long does it last in the head until she can until you, until you need to reply? I mean, I rules don't have as to written, say it out loud. If it knows you and can just can answer in a like manner. What? Well, probably so just kind of crosses. Probably within a minute or so. I would yeah, argue is sensible. Fair. I think it's whatever the first sort of utterance is. So if like <laughs> if Taxis stubs her toe, you know, like you said the thing, and the response is ah oh, fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Um, okay, I guess uh, what I would just say is. Um... How's it going? Have you found anything out? Are you safe? <laughs> um, does anyone else want to say anything? I would have asked this before. How light misses you? Nope, not saying that. <laughs> Damn it's, been, it's, been, like, it's been an hour. An hour and a half. Two yeah. hours. <laughs> uh, do, does anyone else want to say <laughs> anything? Okay. Nothing that I can get back in 25 words. Yeah. Greg misses you. <sighs> See? Greg misses you. What uh... the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Echoes like 100 miles. No! <laughs> um, yeah, that's it, I, I, I suppose. Yeah, now, Seb. Cool. So it's 25 words. 25 words. So, um... <laughs> Quite a lot more difficult than mine. <laughs> Everything well. Uh, waking way through tunnel. Utebi on their way. Harlequin with past master. I've lost count. How yeah, many words fair. Is that? You got 10, 13 left. I asked if you were safe. Everything's well. I said everything's well. Yeah, you did, yeah. <laughs> That's the first one I said. Yeah. All right. <laughs> cool. Just saying, just saying. Okay, just, yeah. Um, Fastmaster is Russian, given your Tebby timeline to arrive. Yeah, I think that was roughly right. Go five more. Who the fuck is when? Going? No, <laughs> when? No, exactly like, five. No, five. <laughs> when? 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 Uh, what? You... Oh, so it's within yeah two days. Oh, did I say when your Tebby arrives? Two days. You said within like, a couple of days. Of within a okay. I said timeline. Yeah, within a timeline. Uh, two days. Also, is it a day? <laughs> it's a day, but she's given him two days. So. Yutebi one oh, day. Right. Yutebi one day. Yutebi one day. Got two words left. Got three words left. Taskmaster given two. Why? <laughs> Sorry, that's on the cat. Yeah, okay, okay. Tap. Difficult. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'll do another spell slot. That's good. Um. I will tell the guys. Yay! We're all caught up. Your yeah, Tabby's gonna be there. Apparently. The gang's Sick. back together. Yay. We need to... I, 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 I know we we want revenge. Well, revenge I definitely want right revenge. Person. No, it's correct. I definitely want revenge. No, it's definitely right. Yeah. But the thing is, there's a lot of there's a lot of steel wall down there. Yeah. Your t there's no way your tabby isn't coming with more. Like too many more. Well, I don't think your tabby's bringing her own thing. I don't think she'll bring steel wall because steel wall is specifically here, right? Like this is, this is that's that's Bloxus thing. Yeah, but she'll have her own troops if oh, she's yeah. she's coming. She couldn't give a shit about Brolox or uh, like Dewey doesn't say that, he doesn't swear. Um, <laughs> um that she couldn't care less about like Brolox or in her troops, she'll have if she wants us dead as just just like we want her. You know? We need to get this we need to try and get this done before she gets here. What do you, well, what do you it's think? still two hours, uh, two days of travel for us. Yeah, like, she's almost no only way gonna we can be get there, there before, or if not, at the same time. Are the maps that we currently have as accurate as we believe them to be? Based on how fast you've been traveling, in terms of time it would take you yeah it's going to take you two days to get to central mm -hmm. but it's one day of marching from central to the outside Is you there... could push for troops into a forced march they risk exhaustion doing that but you can get there before two days or you could get to the outside before two days are up that's getting a bit tricky you're trying to do three days marching in two days is yeah. there any connection tunnels between where the norries are and the main chamber that goes up or is it literally one massive tunnel it's even if it's something that they don't recognize on the map and any of these three thousand dwarves that i have i have the access to whether they might know of any secret little tunnels that might secret circumvent tunnel. secret tunnels. Tunnel. <laughs> so, the mountain. We will roll this to see if anybody knows. Currently, all Clan Borough and you guys connect in the middle before you get to that point. Mm -hmm. What are you actually asking for? A bypass then... here to here or here Correct. to up here? Here to here, okay. Um, there are a lot of miners here. There's a lot of information to be had. This is still a difficult role. Let me give it advantage. Let me give that. Um, the call comes out from the general to ask about connected tunnels that side. A lot of people have spent a lot of time on this side of the mine. Um, but as you have gone to the effort to create this rank file, um, who's in charge of getting information to when to who, Eventually, um, a small, uh, scraggly-haired gnome uh, is brought to you. She looks up at you, um, eyes just a bit wide of seeing a lot of you, uh, when previously she was just a member of this crowd and this army. Hey. Um, <laughs> Craig says, tell them what you told me. There's, um, there's a tunnel... Uh, uh, if you kind of map it and she, she draws it for you, there is a small tunnel, not enough to march an army through, but a quick team um, getting through from Clan Borough's side through. Uh, on the roll that she got, uh, she will even show, this is, we, mostly the gnomes use this, uh, and she will show you that there are connected tunnels you might be able to save. 
if you're trying to march an army through there, you're probably going to only stay half a day. If you're going to try and get somebody fast through there, you could keep your army marching forward and instead yourselves go to the um, halfway between base camp and outside, if that makes sense. I will draw sort of a connected line. I'm going to turn to Diana and ask her, can she ask Nori whether they have any sappers that can get through that small, what small gap. What would be the benefit? Because they've got a big old bucket of explosive powder that we can drop right on top of Yatebi's head when she comes down. Blow the tunnel as she is working her way down that way. But there's still people out there on the outside. They've we pulled. Went. They pulled the majority of Steel Wall forces inside. We're not trapped inside with them. They're trapped in here with us. <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, no. Uh, maybe we could call. Uh, yeah. If if uh, Diana calls, I can't remember her name. Nori. Huh? Nori? No. Describe them. The dwarf, not dwarf, half leg. We just got rid of the. the, the, the Vex. 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 I, I know her name is Dala. Vex, but I want to. Dala. Dala. That's the one. Jesus Christ. Sorry, <laughs> Dala. Maybe if you call Dala, she can come from the mine and go through the mountain pass that I showed you all, and she could get a look on the outer view and over the mountain and see. That will take longer than two days. It'll take weeks. It won't take weeks, it'll take like two days. She's small. If you, if you know the path, she knows the two, path. I showed three you days. Path. I think. No, only, only the two of us went to the path. Yeah, but I told them where they were, where it was. You told them where it is. It's very easy to tell someone where a path is. It's not very easy to go and, and get it off mm. of a verbal description of a mountainous path that is not really but there used. are people there at the mine that have walked the path before. There are. That might not be on our side. I get what you're saying. I know you. The, the idea of leaving people outside is horrible. But I need you to understand that we cannot save everyone. That is also... Uh, uh, Karen, sorry. Okay. That is also something I was going to ask you highlight you said you wanted revenge on a tabby oh, yeah. oh yeah are you gonna be able to keep that emotion and listen to zeke i'll, I'll do my best definitely. because if you don't a lot of people are gonna die i don't if need you don't your listen. best I, I don't need your best i need your word I don't know how they'll react when they see her. Well, if you I... see her, that means that she's got through. But I, I don't, I don't, I don't like the prospect of leaving those people out there. But I feel like they have brought the majority of their forces inside. Um, we can. If we can take out your t if we can take out your t your tabby or or at the very least the bulk of her force coming in and collapse the mine it that that's 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 two birds with no I no I don't use that phrase that's mean um, <laughs> uh, two bats you know, that's fine two two bats with one stone um, it's two bats with one explosive you know the famous phrase yeah um, <laughs> I think I think that's worth worth trying. Can we do it? Is it possible? Surely, like, the the explosives are going to be big. Are they going to be bigger than the tunnel? If they can get there in time, their intention was, was to put the explosives in the roof of the tunnel to collapse the mouth of the cave. Yeah. They must, they know that they've got enough powder that they can blow 
a good portion of this tunnel. Even if it doesn't completely stop them, it will slow them. But if they get spotted trying to do this, then they have a way to get to around us. No, it's only gnomes. People Usually gnomes use it, but is it as big as a gnome? Yeah, they're very small. Ask the, turn and ask the young lady. It probably won't be a... Uh, well, you could, you could, I don't know what a sapper is, um, but you could get some people with some gear through there, gun through with picks. If you can get something our size through, then you can get some, that thing through. But could you get any humans through there? I would have to crawl, uh, maybe. Uh, you, the way they describe it, it brings back memories of the Benalicia tunnels, um, where you'd, humans would have to crawl on all fours to get through. Which was meant to be a uh, huge defense uh, because you could then have arrow slits inside. Um, but um, obviously, circumventable. But yeah, you can get people. You can get people through there. But it's slow. That's very, take very a slow. Long time. Covered in armor, shields, weapons. Only It'll takes only, only takes one cave in for those entire that entire little network to not be viable anymore. Yeah. Which probably will happen. I'm just if, saying, if they get captured before the cave in happens. If they, they get if they get captured before the cave in happens, then they are unfortunately more casualties of war. We meet them, and we'll meet your Tabby and her soldiers anyway it'll be tough tougher but we'll just Let's... have to take them all now we have should like we, a thousand people now <laughs> we do should we try oh. it do you want me to send a message yes okay. alright are you okay with this no but what else can I do Be ready if she gets out. She's escaped from. She's escaped death a, f a few times. But if she gets through, maybe just she gets through. Maybe her, a couple of a couple of her soldiers. It's better than an entire platoon coming down here to join. What's already down there? There are there are a lot of them in there. Doesn't matter how big or strong, how many of us there are, we can only kill so many. Oh, it feels weird hearing sentences like that. Pike um, peeks up and says, General Flame, mate, who is a Tebby? <laughs> a, te a Tebby is the Reeve of Ben Alicia, who upon finding out about us, attempted to capture and kill all of us, and in the process of us running away, I burned her half alive. And she has created she has a... a she has funny. created a, a vow of vengeance on us that she will kill us by the end of this winter. She doesn't oh. have much left. <laughs> and she Between doesn't have a face. It's very funny. She hates it's us. It's very funny. Between, between you and me, I made a promise to her that I was going to burn the other side when I saw her next. Nice. So they, she's after you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This might be an appropriate general, but if you would like to hear an idea, just throw in the mix. If, um... If she's coming with an army and the army is chasing you, if it depends what side of the wall you're on, which side of the wall she goes. I don't know what your plans are to lead us. I would hope so. But it crossed my mind. If you're on that side of the wall, your Tebby's going that way, and we've just got Proloxa to deal with. General. That's true. The smart guy. Good thing you're in charge. I just have the coolest name. <laughs> That's true. 
Uh, Honestly, it's opened so many doors for me, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... How are they gonna find us? Is a question. How did they find you this time? Well, but with some kind of with some kind of magic. Uh, what? You you don't it's really. Good. Oh, we don't know that. Know. I can't remember what was told in the message or it's not. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, you can okay. assume that, but you don't I was... know it. I didn't have enough words to tell you. Need <laughs> to, to know that. Okay. Because <laughs> because uh, I. We needed a lot, know a lot of information. Because I have that <laughs> a lot of information. Also, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Never mind then. So you have a day where you are able to rest, then march. Um, you have your units marching in formation in case they meet opposition, but they meet Garrick and Taxes. Um, I yeah, I, had, I was gonna... Say. Yep, anything else? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Um, I just think that isn't it a good opportunity to get everybody in a really small space and then just blow them all up and kill them all in one place? With, mm -hmm. an, with like, a fairly decent sized army at the moment. We have a good chance here of putting down an extremely large part of the entirety of their co control of Fenrion. And I just think, when I heard that she was coming, and I just thought it was a... just good. It's a good thing. She's coming to us. We don't have to go to her. But if she's coming with a bunch of forces, numbers was our only winning factor. If they can somehow match that, or like get close to it, they have too much... You know, They're coming anyway. Weapons. We have... We yeah. have... We, we, so, we have, we have what Grimes said... Two... We can either face the whole her, half of her, her army or whatever it is outside, just the like the five of us, six of us, or we could do it in here with everybody else. I would like to like Greg not to be around now <laughs> <laughs> before I said any of before I said any of that. They take the gnome woman um, with them. Yeah. Thank you. And yeah, I don't... why are you getting cold feet, Highlight? I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just saying numbers was our biggest thing. If they can somehow match that and have better gear than us, then I, I feel know. like it's pretty bleak. Which is why I wanted to see whether we had the opportunity to get an equalizer in there. Mm. I wanted to blow the tunnel after we put them all down when we had armor and things that we could go yeah. up and take and then bring back in but we don't have that luxury no so we have a choice and to be honest there's a couple of words that uh, a smart woman I'm sure you've heard of her said a couple of times, but uh, there ain't no rebellion if you're dead. She sounds like a smart cookie. She's not half bad. <laughs> I mean, have you met her? <laughs> genuine. I like it's genuine. <laughs> Absolutely genuine. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely does one. not remember Diana ever saying Whoosh. that, ever. <laughs> we have a choice, bud. We either commit now and fight and maybe die yeah. alongside, alongside these others. I'm sick of calling us indents. They're just people. The, pe the people down here are people. Our people. We either fight alongside them there, or we leave them rudderless and sacrifice ourselves 
because at least one of us will get caught. But maybe if we can get uh fuck names of my three point uh they what's know. the other fourth name? I can't remember who's running the other side of the army. No. Nori. If we can somehow, you know, contact Elder Nori and like uh, to the L. But like, no, if like if we can get her army to go in first and then ours just after her. It, it, takes, it, awesome it, takes, it takes the same length of time for them to get to the same area. We want to get there at the same time. Yeah, right. I... That's how you get the, all the numbers. If we get the if we get the tunnel, we have a chance of taking out Yatebi and her forces, and then, like our group and and, and Nori's group, like come from like. Two. That, that's that's the thing you've said before, right? Like it's harder to fight on two fronts, right? Yeah. I appreciate what you're trying to do, Hal. But I know. But yeah. as much as I don't want to say it, I have been given a position of authority here, and I am going to override your decision. That's fine. Like, I'll go with whatever you guys say. It's just, I want to try and get all angles here. I know. And I appreciate it. But I don't think we really have much of a choice. Alright. Are you good with yeah. me sending a message then? Yes, please. Alright. Exactly 25 words. Okay. Oh, Pass you written it down with it. Huh? <laughs> Have you written it down already? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Taskmaster knows we're here. It tabby arriving less than two days. Uh, I actually don't know that, so that is less than 25 years. Uh, can you get there first using side tunnels? And maybe use black powder question mark stop punctuation <laughs> ex punctuation's extra character sorry ah oh, man <laughs> question oh I'll message deleted <laughs> no, um <laughs> Yeah, it's not, it's not actually the question mark sign, it's saying the words question mark oh yeah, just, yeah. Qu <laughs> question, question mark <laughs> oh, shit. god damn trails, it <laughs> trails off <laughs> The reply is quick, not as well thought out, because obviously you've just got touch play. We can begin marching towards central. We can send some forces to hold tunnel to outside and set up the powder. Is it time? For what? For war. To blow the tunnels for war. And if you are repeating that out loud, then I will not even say anything, just look at you and nod. Uh, sure. I can do that. That's the sending. Sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, and so war is declared. <laughs> yeah, sure. and then, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, sure. Yeah, I will send one back. Uh, then uh, Diana will definitely need a rest. Just yep. so everybody yeah, knows. <laughs> nothing over four, third level spells. Okay. Uh... <laughs> uh It is time. Meet you in the middle. Let's take back control. Let's 
as soon as you say yeah. finish shake that, like Hal's jaw just kind of just tense, tense, tense as he grits his teeth. As he grits his teeth. We'll meet you there. Our blades will not rest. To war. Which I feel is an appropriate point to take a quick break. War break. As war is declared. <laughs> In earnest, for the first time from a rebellion against the Empire. Battle lines have been drawn, even if the Empire don't know it yet. Well, war they will. The it's like Civ. I declare surprise war. <laughs> you do, as you have like 50 soldiers outside of there. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, the tank I made was for you! <laughs> <laughs> what? You're not just passing by! <laughs> Enjoy this giant wooden horse! <laughs> right, right uh, cool. we will take a break and we'll be back in a bit. See you in a little bit, guys. For war! <sighs> Hi, hello, hello everybody, welcome back to Rapid Riders episode 45, A Fog of War, as the uh, party is temporarily split again with a scouting party, have received some crucial information that they have passed back, um, and the party are planning, knowing that Itebi, their nemesis that has been hunting them since the beginning, is hot on their tail, less, uh, less than two days away. But you are less than two days away now from this central station where you know Broloxa is patiently waiting, although not by her own volition. It seems to be a different individual there, forcing her patience, waiting for Atebi to join them. Um, but you are, they are, seem to be unaware that you are, uh, certainly in the numbers that you are here. You rejoin our party. Um, I... I'm assuming now that a day of marching has happened. Garrick and Taxes have been able to meet up with the rest of the party. Initially, a bit of a like, enemies! No, no, it's not enemies. Uh, um, as you see, there are there have been dwarves you've encountered just along the way. Um, some of them have joined your ranks, not enough to swell them significantly. Uh, but um, some of them have gone rushing off in the other direction at the approach of so many armed individuals coming in the other direction. Maybe we shouldn't just let those guys go. It's been impossible to... Yeah, they, they hear you long before they oh, see okay. you. Yeah, That's fair. Taxes, I missed you. Garrick, no, you not so much. <laughs> That's... I, I'm, kidding. You know, I'm kidding. It, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. I was gonna say that is harsh. I know it's been, you know, <laughs> beef squashed. Come in, big man. And he comes and gets you. I love hug. you. <laughs> I'm glad you're not then, dead. Pats you home and goes over to um, Diana. I lived. Wasn't a hero. Good. I'm glad. Not all, not all heroes wear shirts. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, um, he pulls you in for a kiss. Um, and yeah. Uh, Taxis was saying that some information's come across. Uh, uh, unless Taxis stops them, Garrick joins Taxis in relaying things. That point. Okay. But obviously, RP does. 
So if you wish. There there is more I needed to say. Um the Harlequin from the ball is here. The dance guy? The dance. He was a good dancer. We wow. I feel like I need to Vogue now. That's not someone that I, ha who I had on our kill list this week. No, well, well, who were they? What vibe did you get? Oh, your Tebby's right hand man? Uh, you overhearing it was more of the Hierophant Imperium. Hierophant not like Hierophant. direct right hand so much as they put themselves, oh, yeah. named themselves in that position. And oh, you remember yeah. that they were hanging around at, um, the Hierophant Alexis Tremanus um, at the party. They were part of their yes. entourage. Yeah. Okay. But what do they do? What is their thing? Well, you know, apparently. The hair seek that you cut off. That's what they've used trackers. What, does he it... smell it? Does he sniff it or something? The magic. You can use magic for that shit. You can use magic for that? Yes. Do we know what kind of magic? Sound. Make an arcana check. Yay! Can, can Halai also join in this arcana check? Shall I roll the Storm actual... giants can see into the future and stuff. I will... Do you... Yeah, I will, I will let you grant assistance. You're sort of naming okay. things we could do. Assist. It. Cool. Uh, storm giants can see in the future. Sometimes they use the clouds to predict stuff and chase, you know, see things. I can also see in the future. Yeah, sometimes. My, with my two absolutely wanky rolls. <laughs> have you re-rolled them for this fresh day of March? Yeah, have you, ha, ha, yes, have you, have you rolled your, your divination is it, one? Is it morning the, now? Uh, have we got another? Yes. Yeah, 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 we've, we've had, we've had the long yeah, rest. Then I will. New day munching. Roll. We may as well use them because we're going to... And if they're both bad, roll again for your arcana kind of <laughs> You can't do it. <laughs> you can't do it. They were very bad. I actually... Why it? I'm done. <laughs> can be useful. <laughs> they are useful the for the enemy. <laughs> seen, I have seen into the future, and the future is middling. <laughs> the, the future uh, is tepid. <laughs> What's that? Either. That's pretty fucking good. That's all right, then. Twenty three and twenty five. Uh, if I got advantage from Flora. You did. You. 25. Um, Halite talks a lot about seeing the future. You know, they're trying to help. That's not quite right. That's not what's going on here. You, it, it, but it does bring you back to the lessons you've been having, um, where the future was described as these big branching pathways and trees, but the present is this solid root. Uh, sorry, solid trunk at the middle, if that makes sense. Rooted underground by the past. <clears throat> You know that there are ways to look at something in a distance, uh, listen to things from a distance. Um, it's called scrying. There are spells that can do it. There are uh, other abilities um, that um, powerful individuals can have to do it. But certainly with, is within both the purview of the arcane and divine in order to, to scry on someone. Uh, but, you know, it, it involves... Hello, 25. You know that it um, requires some kind of, for want of a better word, some kind of screen, something to view it in, whether that is a crystal ball or um, a basin of holy water. Um, this is not something that anybody on the street can do. This would require a powerful caster in order to do this kind of thing. I believe it's a fifth level spell. Um, the kind of, like, your power level or higher to do this kind of thing. It makes sense that the higher offend would be able to do this. Cool. And then I will explain that yeah, so once they get something of yours it's they can, like, know where you are, see you. And it's like a battle of wills between them and you and they all usually win because you know they know what they're doing I guess so Why? I had a shave 
and that means that a freaky wizard from halfway around the continent can see exactly where I am. That's creepy. It's good, right? Did they say anything about my hair? I also shaved in the same spot. They mentioned orange hair. Oh. Because it's white, isn't it? White and snow. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I guess no, is that take, why... Take, take this with the pinch of salt that it's meant with. I can kind of understand why people were so scared of wizards. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. Thank you. It, it, it is definitely a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mostly because I'm scared of what you'll do otherwise. <laughs> I have skills. Uh, I don't want to see me when I poop. But like, how do you stop it? <laughs> how do you stop you said, it? You said it was a battle of wills, right? How do we give Zeke more willpower? Um, I don't know. I think I don't. I don't think you can. Right. Okay. Can we just not make it so complicated? Can we just go punch the guy in the schnoz? That yeah, we just go and kill them, and then. But maybe someone else could do it. You know. Yeah, but, you know, I c kind of want to punch the guy who's perving on me. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's really creepy. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's very creepy. I mean, I'll see also, what you do. do that. Probably when you were having a dump. Probably. Mm. Oh, one of our many conversations. To clarify, in case you lost in translation, it would appear that... Alexis Tremanis herself is the one casting this spell. I'm a if, fan, if of, that... gender. I'm a fan yeah. of gender equality. I, I'll punch yeah. her in the schnoz just, too. Just in case I got lost in translation. Um... <laughs> yeah, but you are on about punching the Harlequin, yeah. Oh, I'm going to punch him in the schnoz you before can also I get punch to punch him her in the... <laughs> yeah. Is there any... Well... Get this back on track. <laughs> yeah, was there any word of, like... Uh, Alexis coming down, saying hi. See, now that I don't like. You know, if you're gonna spy on somebody, just fucking have the balls to come down here and finish it, you know? Don't just sit in your stupid little office and scry. <laughs> Lame. Right on the go. Uh, but this scry, is on the go. scry on the go. But this is a lesson. No one ever cut their hair ever again. Or take a shit. Shit, they can do that. Yeah, they they got something of yours. It's... I don't think they would want you... it, but okay. Bury your okay. shit. Anyway. <laughs> can you do, can you do some can you do something with it and make it go away? I hear that that's something that wizards can do. Okay, people, shut up. Please listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, flush the toilet. I don't know. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Bury it in the, the last... it... When was the last time we had a toilet? <laughs> <laughs> in the mansion earlier. It was great. Uh... <laughs> um... yeah, no, Sorry. Really. That's your real the voice name. of um, that's... reason. <laughs> Taxes. Taxes. Same practice. It's now. We're on two forces. You got your tep your tepi on their way down. They were given one day, oh, arriving in one day, but the taskmaster has given them two days to arrive. If they do not arrive in two days, the taskmaster is headstrong and is going to run in and try and charge for us. Because we killed their brother, apparently. I don't know who that is. Oh, shit. Was it the brother? Boat. The boat. Oh. The green guy the boat. Hmm? When we remember started there was this a... off. Yeah, remember when we were on the, on the boat? The engineer guy. Yeah, he was an artificer. We well, blew him up. Dwarf. He was a dwarf. We didn't. We didn't kill him. The floats did. Yeah. <laughs> we also set the boat on fire. Wait, wasn't he a dwarf, Sam? He was not. He was a human with a uh, anisocoric eye. Um, oh. But he'd been raised by dwarfs. Oh, yes, why it was. Or. At least raised yeah. in the Eastern Ridge. You, you knew that much from Splitlick. I thought... You... Sorry. <clears throat> worked with Splitlick and... Or worked in proximity to Splitlick and... Been responsible for a, a big betrayal and... Which had ended up with Splitlick getting captured. 
I thought it was gonna be her partner. Mm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh well. Yeah, How much more that. shits do I give after that information? I mean... <laughs> I, 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 I think what we should all do, and I, I, I mean this with all sincerity, is that we should all come up with a one-liner to put her down into the goddamn grave with, just to remind her that, oh. I, that it's us doing it. You know what? If you want to make it into an insult, I can actually hurt her mentally with it. Perfect. Perfect. If I have you. enough moves and I won't get killed, I'll do it. No. <laughs> Come up with a Is that for why it. every time you make fun of me it hurts? No, that that's called emotional trauma. Oh. <laughs> Moving this back onto track. Cause <laughs> yes, let's go. Let's that's are we right. walking? I um, imagine we have been the entire time. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Alright. What is it? That I had a great time. Fucking Garrick in <laughs> I was doing a whole mission. Come back here, I'm stressed again. Like <laughs> Wow, go back out with him then. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. We've done nothing but march for two days. My Let feet hurt! Of, let us have a little bit of fun before we go to our deaths. That the... reminds me! Oh, oh, wow. Bring! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and well, once, you, once you can see that. Uh, There's 99 you, bottles of the... beer on the wall! <laughs> <laughs> 99 bottles of beer! <laughs> once you can see that, that, that it, it's almost pushed the joke too far. I was like, <laughs> okay, I'll stop, I'll stop now, you can talk. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'll go. And my bottles of beer on the wall. Hey, taxes! <laughs> taxes will give you the fucking look. <laughs> taxes! Taxes! Smile for me, taxes, please. <laughs> How takes a physical step back? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even take both the magic weapons off her. You're not sure if Garrick has gone invisible or just disappeared. <laughs> All the self-preservation instincts has killed uh, for everyone other than did Diana. You the Simpson into the bush. <laughs> Fight through the wall, just mouldered yeah. straight backwards. <laughs> oh, great. But I will be writing a song on the rest of this leg. Did you have anything constructive to say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, good. It's great to know we're going to keep talking anyway. Great. Let's move <laughs> on. <laughs> I don't think it's a bit of better sounding. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, taxes, taxes ah. not speak. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Zeke, shut up and is listening to you now. Speak to me, Taxes! Speak to me! <laughs> Diana! <laughs> oh, you have a message in your head. I'm really sorry. Please speak. I love you. Okay, bye. Wow. Okay. That leads us to information. We've either got Yutepi, who is headstrong on killing us and is bidding their own army of the steel walls i don't know. that's right yeah cool um if they don't arrive they most probably will then we've got taskmaster who's gonna have highly emotional um reaction and is gonna charge in ahead they're not gonna plan they're not gonna think uh she's also threatened the harlequin if Utepi, if we get away before Utepi arrives, or if because Utepi took their time getting here, they will set Utepi alight. Potential creating inner conflict in the Empire. Oh, nice. Inner conflict. Interesting. The, was it the Harlequin that they said 
They said that to the Harlequin. Yeah. Oh, they said to the Harlequin that they would set Yatebi on fire. Yeah. So the task... Oh, burn them, basically. They... Burn them. So the other way around. I, I, I from what I remember, they threatened to set the... Um, not to set a Tebby on fire, but to set the Harlequin, Harlequin on fire. Okay, set the Harlequin on fire. If, if, if they had to wait for a Tebby and a Tebby, and that meant that you guys got away, then they... It was threat, but also, like, she might have meant it. This woman is... Oh, yeah. Not, yeah all her hinges are not attached. This is um, unhinged, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I have uh, not known this woman to be uh, a liar. <laughs> Either way, that creates further conflict that's already brewing within the Empire's those in charge. Only one thing that seems to be uniting them all right now, and that is wanting to kill you. All of you. Honestly, I'm flattered. Yeah. Also, sometimes same. Um... Yeah, we, we, if you hadn't noticed, we're really good at winding people up. I've been traveling a long time with you. Um. I'm getting the hang of it. So. Yeah. No, that's actually, that's good. It means we're doing something right. And the longer we stay not dead, the more emphasis we get to tell the Empire and everyone else that the Empire ship <clears throat> should have killed yeah. us. You, you can do images, right? Yeah. How how many? As many as I want in like a twenty foot area, which is probably the size of this tunnel. Ish. You're quite a, oh, there you go. Oh. No, it's yeah. quite a bit bigger than that. If you look on the sort of map of reference kind of thing, this is a tunnel. Um, Jazz cabin. It is like 175 foot wide at the widest. Oh. But the sort of space between the tracks is maybe a good 20 foot. Or, well, 25 foot. So space between the tracks. For reference. Hmm. Yeah, why? If need be, you, you could make an image of us running away in a specific direction. I could absolutely do that. And, uh, you know, it means that you, your tabby is stuck up there and Broloxa goes deeper into the mines and that we can kill the people, the guards that are here, and then escort everyone out through Siege is mine. Then Yatebi comes along, and Broloxa has lost us in the in the tunnels because she's waited on Yatebi to do it, and then you know, she burns the other half of her for me. You don't want to do that. I mean, I kind of be very entertained to see what, what she means when she says she's going to firework someone. Mm, I actually really want to see that. On someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the Harlequin. Not on us. I mean, that'd be okay, I guess. I think that's a great idea, but I think... Um, oh, you think yeah. whatever plans we make will just end up gonna... <laughs> oh, yeah. I, 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 I'm talking that, that that's plan like... X. Like, it's it's well done, but... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, just let so... me know when it's a new day so I can roll my stupid dice again. Uh, every time I take a long rest, it, we roll, you roll the dice. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Because it's like another day, isn't it? That's... So, so uh, plan... Still going forward as is? Yeah. Yep, as is for now. I think so. I think All so. Right. 
right. but it's that's a good bit of information. Do you think there's there's any any way we could if if your Tebby does get through that we could pit the two of them off against each other rather than get them working together? If there's any way we could do that? Mind tricks. Hmm. Gonna do some mind tricks. Maybe. They're both two people in high emotional situations. One wants revenge. Well, they both want revenge. And revenge is an emotion that is difficult to control. We could always tell your Tebby in. No. Berloxa in your Tebby's voice. That your Tebby was the one who actually killed her brother. That's the only try. Get them arguing long enough and then, you know. Illusion that shit over there. I don't know. What yeah. I mean, uh, however, your magic works. Maybe we could. I'm not entirely sure how that happens. But we could get taxes. <laughs> no, wait. We could get taxes to forge a kill order from your Tebby. Because you have your Tebby seal. And you can put that somewhere in Blox's office. You do. Uh, mm, no, that's the, good. The, the, we don't have time. We don't yeah. have time. We're going to that, that, kill everybody. I yeah, think. that's a that's a that's a thing for if they both get away for later, and then we can plant that later. But that's uh, that's that's a good idea if they both get away. But let's not let them get away. I. Uh, oh. Taxes. Mm. Would it be okay if I got that dagger back? Yeah, sure. There's a uh, there's a dwarf down there that seems to think he can fix it for me. Oh. And, uh... <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah, him. I don't know how he keeps getting so close to us without us realizing it. He's really good at his job. I'm really far away. He just pointed at me. There's thousands of us. How did you? Um, yeah, him anyway. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to use it anyway, sure, Dagger. You know, but... You're my friend. I still wanted you to have it for protection for a while. And it just kind of that felt weird to say thank you and just mm. could just toddle off towards the the, the smith. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah. Prepares. Does he know I could have just fixed that dagger for him? Yeah. I, Probably. I just wish to like, everyone else. Here. I, feel like, I feel like he. Well, I, maybe not. Oh, I got kit and stuff in my backpack. Yeah. Don't know. Weird. Maybe it's a dwarf thing. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. Anyway. Um, you see <laughs> that they <coughs> they uh, take out the broken wood that is still like forming the sort of handle of this dagger inside the spearhead. Uh, they put a new haft in there uh, and they bolt in new attachments. So you have a new, new steady attachment. As the spear is complete, the spearhead um, gains its full potential and the Guardian's charge, I believe that's what they called it, the Guardian's charge gets its full potential. As a, both a weapon and a uh, focus for magical spells. Yes, but I don't think you've put it into the campaign, just so you know. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a homebrew item that I have made, so you should be able to just uh, add it. If not, I can add it to your... Yeah, yes, please, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> yes, I will add it to your character sheet. Give me a few moments. Uh, we obviously mentioned what it does previously on the stream, but you're very welcome to read it out again now that it is yes. complete. Can I do a character profile? Internet's a bit slow. It's not just for DM loading now, it's actually my computer. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Add 
Oh, taxes. Mm -hmm. Do you know anyone named Craven? I don't know. Do I know anyone named Craven? I don't really remember that name's mentioned. Um, uh... you don't know of anybody called Craven. I don't think anybody's quite so cruel. Um, to name their child Craven. <laughs> um, it's a great name. Kanye West name one of his well, children North. Diana, you you said this thing is Craven's ruin, father's wisdom. I want to know who Craven is. Uh, Cra Cra Craven means coward. It's the ruin. It's the ruin of cowards. Oh, I had no, to turn it's... on um, homebrew content for my homebrew to come through to. But yes, the Guardian's charge is in your inventory. Thank you. Hmm. For context, taking the dodge action with patient defense will also trigger the Searing Sentinel feature on there. Searing Sentinel. Nice. Magic shit. Yeah. Magic shit. Magic shit. Um. Yeah. Should be just, um, how far away? From the thing you are, know. um, you'll have reached the end of another day's march. By the end of the last day's march, you will hit it. This will be your last chance to long rest before you reach the central cabin. All right, let's do that. Okay. Anything ready before, before then? As you go into a long rest. Sure. Diana, as yeah. you sleep, you are dreaming of something ethereal, strange, uh, your performance, but then there are um, lights that were not there. It's beautiful. Um, and then in front of you, there is a door which you step through, and you are in a familiar classroom. Uh, it is one that you have been to previously with Nella Krentz, who opens the door on the other side. I am sorry it has been a very strange time for me. I am sure it has for you as well. I have not had a chance to rest properly and get... Rest properly away where I know I can cast this spell and not be under scrutiny. If that makes sense. Um, I'm trying to remember when last we spoke. I think you were... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, the spell. Busy. I have some more theories on how we can make this work. I really think we do need to... I um, think we need to go to the ruins of the towers to find the necessary components. I don't know anywhere else that would have the components apart from maybe the, um, the main Penitus building in the city of Vinin. Um, Not go there. No, uh, I would not recommend it. Uh, we would all die. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we were lucky. But, I, I've had some theories, and you see that they go to a board. It, it's interesting, because it's, it's almost based on memory, how much you can remember to keep on this blackboard of what you guys remembered. He does a decent job, but you realise he's not the most super intelligent person in the world. Probably not quite as intelligent as you. Um in terms of memory, and you sort of help them recover the work that you had done before you then, he then um, goes into uh, new theories about how to um, manipulate the ley lines in such a way that you could carry yourself to a nexus if you wanted to, and how that can be worked to instead adapt that onto a teleportation circle, their knowledge of a teleportation circle and how it works, um, but the components that will be needed to essentially craft a spell. Um, a little bit of creating a new spell that would sort of surpass teleportation circle, but at the well, not surpass um, so much as um, be lower level but usable by a bard, and then has potential for upcasting to make it more potent. Yeah. Um, essentially, mean... it would. Sorry. No. Um, they they literally they, they are theory crafting magic with you. Um, in this dream spell um, as they promised to do and have not done for a little while yeah 
Uh, I'll just say, like, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm, like, skilled enough to do it. I just need... I just don't know it. <laughs> I just need to read it and study it for a bit, you know? Right. I don't... No. ...have it. I mean, yeah. I, I know how to do it. I just, as I've said, I just don't know. It is a spell, it is magic granted to me. Oh, yeah. Baffles me, that. Uh, <laughs> I get used to it. Maybe I shouldn't. Still, we should be able to find a spell of that caliber there. We would have to go to the Halls of Conjuration. Um, the debates on where that might be. I don't really have a map of the place. It's not even meant to be on maps. But we know where we're going when we do. Um, beyond that, I suppose I should just continue to wish you luck in your endeavours. Thanks. We're about to go to war, so... You know. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, so, uh... I mean... You could try try this again next week or maybe just in a couple of days uh, and you'll the find days. out if we're alive or not sounds good you yeah continuing to impress me and continuing to surpass me um, in your arcane abilities be careful or prepare to be recruited one of the other. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Stay they safe. Move. Move to their door. Open it. You too. Close the door behind them, and you feel your dream once again return away from lucidity into a more ethereal. Uh, but you remember the dream. You are not. Uh, you're, you're able to remember what happened vividly as though oh, yeah. it actually happened. Uh, you wake up the next morning. Is it morning? You've rested after a long march. Your legs are tired. You know that you are close now. How it works, works out. I had some good rolls for those ones. Yay! Yay! I mean, you've only done a you've only done a few of them. You're getting, yeah. getting used to it. Isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like my morning meditation is going a lot better. You know. <laughs> exactly. Improved mindfulness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Allies like lifting a boulder to like basically dun, bench press it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Dan, 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 Rocky. Yeah. Great montage sequence starts. <laughs> Diana can't help but just watch. Just warm up. Just a warm up. Dewey, Dewey's doing a lot of like. <sighs> this lot, lots of like, this is gonna be fine. This will be fine. This will be fine. Not saying it out loud, but very facially. He's very like. Alright. Oh no, I was going to do something. I don't think I should do that. If this is the day, I'm not going to do it. Uh... <laughs> You're probably going to die, Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will, I'll, no, I'll I'll do something non magic -y instead. I'll go up to you and go, Milo's not here anymore. So I'll just, I'll just pat him on the face. <laughs> Which now Bree has, to, has started doing to fill in real life. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It makes it me is. feel better. <laughs> it's, yeah, Dewey is too polite. Much like Phil, is too polite. It is not comforting. I mean, of it was course, worth a try. Dewey is Dewey is like halfling sized, and uh, the, the monkey was was enough. But this is a much bigger hand <laughs> now. <laughs> Going from little pats to big. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, yeah, uh, gently yeah. slapping a child. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Sorry, it was supposed to try. I just, yeah. yeah. I missed my monkey, so. It's okay. It's 
Okay, now we'll, we'll we'll get him back. We'll get him back because we are getting out of here because I have really had it up to here of not having fresh air. Um, I want to see the sun, even though it's cold outside. I'm a sun elf, and I'm pretty sure I'm I'm, I'm my my orange skin is gonna go white. I don't like that. Well, we'll be fine. We'll get to see it again. We just have to trap ourselves in here with a massive army of enemies. Oh, oh god. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a hug so like he doesn't speak anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I came here to reduce your anxiety, and now you're giving me anxiety, so just be quiet. <laughs> Please shut up. Thanks. <laughs> Halle, like, seeing this from like 30 feet away, kind of just drops his boulder and goes... Picks it back up and starts working out again. <laughs> Alright. The units... March information through the day. There is a quiet tone as everybody knows you are getting close now. As the march comes near to its end, you begin to see a literal light at the end of the tunnel. You can see it is brightly lit by orange taut light. You know that you are moments away. Ten minute march from the front. Just gonna walk with everyone forward but stand next to Diana. Do you want to go first or shall I? Whatever you think is best. You go. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Um... Close enough that they... <laughs> when you say close enough, how close is close? You know, ten minutes. Okay. Maybe marching, continuing this okay, way. Okay, so... Basically for the sake of it, then. <clears throat> Not quite to the top of his lungs to blow his voice out, but loud enough that he can project himself as loud as his little lungs will allow. It's an echoey cave. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Forgive me, I'm not always comfortable reading my own stuff. Okay. My brothers and sisters, today we have marched for one simple reason. Freedom. Some of you have known it in the Eastern Ridge. Some of us have almost forgotten. When our family stood against Colovia, they had no idea as to the monster they would become. Tens of thousands dead, millions more enslaved. No one could foresee the horror they would bring to the continent. I see the fear in your eyes. I feel the same fear in mine. We have seen the day when our kingdoms fall, when our banners burn and our histories are destroyed. We remember well the fires of war until the day we take our final steps into Ibn's embrace. We, the Rapid Riders, stand amongst you at this time, not as for our sport or recreation or for anything other than a resolve in the midst and the heat of battle to live and die amongst all of you, to lay down for our people, for our gods, for our rights and for your freedom. Fight now with us, not for the country, not for your kings, but for you, for equality, 
fight for your liberation. I'm just going to slam the first charge of the flame to come out of it as somewhat of a banner charge. Just launches um, flame around the head of the spear. For liberation! For freedom! We're done! We're done! Um, and people begin chum, 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 marching up, um, begin bashing shields to make the beat of the song that you've been writing on the way here. A march that keeps people in pace. Chum, 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 chum. Chum, chum, chum. Um, people are singing on top of it, but the overwhelming noise of footfall um, is overwhelming. Uh, it is um, the only thing most of you can hear close to each other. You can talk to each other with a shout, um, but it is deafening as you are entering this echoing big cave. Um, anybody who wishes to can make me a perception check in the distance. 120 foot dark vision, go! That's a three! Three. <laughs> I'm like, yeah! There's a lot of bodies in the way. Um, you're trying to like pick out... 14. How, 14? There you go, thank you. It's a long distance away yeah. still. Um, but you can see that there is light. It is brightly lit. Humans are trying to get every advantage that they can. Um... What you don't see. Did you see anything? Um, is it something that I would know is there? As in... Yeah. Uh, no, never mind, it's fine. Cool. What you don't see... But what you hear oh, okay. yeah. is <sighs> um, as the sound of something rushing towards you uh, at 60 miles oh, my God. an hour. Um, can everybody make me a dexterity saving throw, please? We did say we wouldn't do this. <laughs> 19. 19? You did the success. It's 19. <laughs> uh, so 25 25 also success finally doing something monk like uh, does someone here struggle with dex saves I don't think so everyone's no, pretty dexy hard. bunch okay Cool. Make sure you can do it. Will, it. will this go through our army, Sam? It will. How's gonna get in the way? No, dude. You're gonna He's gonna like his... shoulder barge. You don't have this. time. That's what the perception okay. check was for. Okay. As uh, I'm gonna make ones generally for the units, four units that would be at the front. Three of them do very well in pass. Um, some of them. Um, ones right at the front line do not have time to react or get out of the way as spiraling past into the sort of center of this formation you see a small lit fuse disappear just underneath the bottom um, as black powder um, erupts in fire around as the Empire strikes the first blow. We could have done that. Everybody passed, I believe. Yeah, I'll talk uh, to get So you only take 15 fire damage? As concussive black powder bursts, shrapnel, you are far enough away that you're not directly next to it, as we have timed this just as it is about to hit the front lines. You see. Take any damage. 
<laughs> Even with a success, yeah, I got a large <laughs> portion of this shield wall is um, immediately very hurt on the left hand side, um, where they really didn't have enough time to get out of the way. Um, sort of left track of where it, like the thing was literally barrowing down. Mm. A lot of that unit is just instantly you see that they are gone. Um, there is fire where they once were. There is a pause. Yes. Is there a moment where I can say something before? So yeah. This is it. So I assume we're all like scattered on the ground, or whatever. And I want to get up. I want to be like, "This is it. The enemy has spoken. Let's fight for our freedom. Let's go." Yeah. Uh, um, okay. Horrible. Right. Yeah. The order is kept, um, but the marching plot has stopped. As people are going, they are avoiding that track as best they can. Um, you don't think that trick will work again because of the, the distance they are keeping from it now. Um, but if you're advancing towards the cave entrance, um, and as bright light illuminates, you see central cavern. You see barricades set up to give them some advantage here. As your forces rush in towards each other and meet, we are going to finish the episode for today and pick this up next time i have to do this makeup again (laughs) (laughs) no you have to keep it on (laughs) the entire time not allowed to take a shower (laughs) (laughs) we'll need showers it's true Mm. first real battle real big battle has begun in hindsight i'm glad i didn't stop it Uh... (laughs) yeah yep yeah. <laughs> you would have taken the... a lot of bludgeoning force. You couldn't have a 60 mile an hour truck hitting you. It's true, but bludgeoning, I can deal with bludgeoning. <laughs> you, you can... You can... Deal is not the word. You can... <laughs> <Survive. laughs> some... Yeah. Anyway. Diana and Taxes took half of that again, right? No, I didn't take any. Oh, did you know? I took half of that as well. Yeah, because the fire resistance. Yeah, Yeah. I took seven. Cool. Okay. It's just so I can get get in my mind. It's like, okay, how damaged are we already? (laughs) Your troops. Your troops do not have a bunch of hit points. That's Mm -hmm. intended to be the first big. Try and deal with a lot of them quite quickly, Uh, and. That was their shield break. Yeah. Let's see, how, let's see how they can deal with ours. They appear to have been ready for you. They set up some kind of barricades, had a plan of something to send back your way. How long we had to prepare, clearly not more than two days, because they did not yet know you were coming that way when you scouted. It's exciting, right? Yes. I will shut up now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> panic about how I'm going to do a whole battle in D&D which is not designed for battle at all. Well, if you look at the new Dragonlance campaign, it has war mechanics. That yeah. it is. I might need to look more. That is what it is. Which I have not looked at yet. Yeah. War yeah. mechanics, I believe. But yeah. This is fine. Battle this mechanics. is fine. Everything is fine. It's all fine. It's fine. <laughs> everything's awesome when everything's blowing up. Uh, I'm going to do a murder. <laughs> At least one. <laughs> At least one. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yay! Oh, God, I'm so, my shoulders are so tense. Yeah. <laughs> Good. What kind of deer would I be if I didn't make my players have literal muscular agony? <laughs> <laughs> you made me see a chiropractor, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> You actually have a chiropractor. <laughs> Ooh, I got I got another lesson. On the, I got another thing on the fifteenth. I'm very excited. Wow, that is quite a uh... wow. <laughs> yeah, 
Excellent, excellent stuff, Sam. Yeah, that was great. Good stuff. Good job, Sam. Prelude to war. Um, I love any interesting information too. Or scary information. Yeah. How do we combat this? There's no way we can. We got some nasty enemies. <laughs> yes. You reintroduced the Harlequin in the last place that I actually thought I would see him again. I knew he was oh, coming who the back. Fuck is this guy? <laughs> Look like he... Even without knowing it, I know for a fact he's going to probably be the hardest fight we're going to have. <laughs> Judging by his dance moves? Fuck you. <laughs> if we judge everyone by their dance power... That's no, no, one. No, one, no, no one laughs in the face of someone who could literally murder them. Well, it looked like, murder it sounded most like it people hurt... with bare, their, their bare hands. Without it sounded like it was hurting him, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it sounded like it was hurting him. That was the intent. <laughs> like it sounded like he was just choking. Like I couldn't tell. Like, is, is that coughing? No, he's laughing. But why is he struggling so much? He's trying. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Even the cat's nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but oh yeah, it did sound like he was like trying to stop the laughing, or like at least choking through it, or something like that. Yeah, I saw Sam, very weird I, going on there. How, how dare you introduce yet a a, a third? main villain that we immediately have a character quirk that we're just like <clears throat> want to sink my teeth into his throat <laughs> I'm glad you like my villains slash hate my villains enough to like them <laughs> oh, yeah, as, as, my, as, as my character I despise your villains as, my, as a player I love your villains I still can't wait to meet one of them you're about to. <laughs> Fist first. <laughs> Give it a week. We're about we're about to introduce one to the business end of our weapons. Gotta wait a week though. <laughs> uh, uh yes, do we wanna give some shout outs for things? Uh yes. Let me Let's see what what uh oh you I was wondering if you had a file for that. Uh we'll see how uh fast phil can do this but um uh, so... like i've been told many times in my life it won't be fast enough um i thought it was gonna go the other way yeah actually, that. That would... yeah yeah it'll be I... way too fast I... sad so <laughs> I love you, sir. yeah uh, <laughs> i'm glad i could do that for you anyway right wow i did not okay next <clears throat> that went wrong <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> so guys thanks for joining us thanks for watching uh, it's been a pleasure to have you uh, watching the stream um, thank you Sam for a wonderful terrifying game um, uh, okay we've got stuff do we know I'll do, do, you do the thing and I'll do the thing okay yeah yes cool uh, so we have uh, just put some funky t-shirts up on the website uh, and on Etsy um, uh, we will <laughs> eventually have Christmas cards on there as well they are cute it looks hopefully so good. tomorrow uh, it takes a while but yeah hopefully tomorrow we'll have Christmas cards up there as well do you, uh, you know Christmas d and themed and stuff and stuff um, so yeah, um, go and check that out. Uh, flagship Etsy flagships, and on the website as well. Um, Philip with our wonderful model Bree. <laughs> yeah, I need other people to model them, please. <laughs> also, oh, it is just a kind of like an ego show where <laughs> it's just, just all me at the moment. I just need other people to. <laughs> to <laughs> Actually, but it's fine because it, you look so damn good in them. Thanks, I want other people to look good in them too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, other than that, we have our uh, Christmassy themed one shot uh, that uh, is getting to the stage where it's like sold out. So it's awesome. Yeah. How, how many? Like, we ordered a load and. They, they like in order to take them to a convention we went to over the weekend, and we were already uh, starting to sell quite a yeah. few of them beforehand, which is yeah, is well, well below half now. So, 
Um, yeah, grab yours while you can. Uh, there. On great gift giver. D and D. Save D and D Christmas. <laughs> yes. Christmas. Um, but yes. Uh, and oh, I know what else we have. Um, we did a Kickstarter. Which sounds like, which feels like ages ago, but it wasn't. Um, we have just opened it back up for late pledges, and that will be going on for about a month or so. So if you missed out then, you can get in now. Yay! Yeah, um, you get the link. I didn't put that one in the file. Yet. I know, I was wondering if uh, if you would do and that. The page is loading. It? Go on GameFound and search for Fumble Folks. Uh, <laughs> it's on the it's on the thing. I can um I can find it. It's fine. Nope, because I haven't signed it. Brilliant. It's on the <laughs> tiny URL. Tiny URL. Seb, what what Fill what's it. the line? Hmm? Seb, what's the line? We because we are pro. Oh, professionals. Pro professionals. Pro professionals. <laughs> But we'll get there first, is the question. Yes! And did like it. always... I did it so too! We did it at the same time! Damn it! That's the first time in, in, in Bree's life that she can say that. Wait. <laughs> oh. But Phil still came right first, now. so... Wait! Yeah. <laughs> Hey! Winner! Well, uh, yeah, sure. Sure you are. I am uncomfortable with that. <laughs> <laughs> the family show, after all. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> that was always the intention. <laughs> that was always the intention, and now I win. <laughs> Lol. Oh. Oh, anyway, uh, other than that, other than the Kickstarter and the, the merch and the stuff and the stuff and the one shot, I think that's it. Come and join our Discord where we will post. Yeah, you guys also. We would po post our new Hero Forges in the in the Discord because that's fun. Um, you can see how cool, cool we look. Yeah. Yeah. Buddy. yeah. <laughs> And of course, if you've got pets, then there's a familiars channel in there, which is obviously yeah. the best channel in, oh, in any Discord. Because, because pets. Um, come say hi. Exactly. Um, also, uh, there's, there's our link tree as well for all our social media links good. and stuff. Good. That's good. Um, um, there, is, there is one more that, uh, little thing that I wanted to say. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for anyone who came up to see us in Dragon Meat. Um, we had a great time there. And if any of you are watching this later or anything, please, by all means, let us know how we did. Because we loves you all. And we were all, all too happy to have all of you come up and say hi and talk nerdy with us. Also, yeah. Sam's friends came to say hi. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said they were going to look for you. <laughs> yeah, they, they did. It was great. <laughs> cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, tonight, we are going to raid. It's the first time I've seen them on here for ages, actually. Um, ladies of D&D. &D. Yay. Yeah. They're ladies who do D&D. Yay! <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, they're really cool. Um, so yeah, check them out. Cool. Let's go check we'll them out. Back, Let's go dude. check them out. We'll Give them a follow Monday. and stuff. We'll yes, be we'll be on back Monday. on Monday. I don't know what day it is today. To be fair. Um, Thursday. Cool. <laughs> what? It's definitely a day. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back on uh, on Monday. We're oh. chasing shadows. Uh, something that we did miss last week as well, though, that I am just going to uh, put out there. Uh -huh. um, uh, Gemstone, you asked last week whether we were still doing the 10,000 fumbles for a video game redeem. Yes, if you want to come into any of our streams and do that and redeem it, let us know and we shall get about trying to play it as soon as we can. Yeah, just because I'll that turn was that back we on. Asked. Yeah, we got asked it last week and I completely forgot to 
say that at the beginning of the call. <laughs> cool. All right then. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, we will see you guys soon. Uh, and then we'll wait. Okay. Bye. <laughs>